this video is for anyone who has type 1, type 2, or prediabetes. One of the common threads that I've seen a lot of people comment on in this group and during this challenge is that they um, have either type 1, type 2, or are pre-diabetic. And so I wanted to make a very specific video for all of you um, because sugar, the type of sugar, inflammation, there's, there's some nuances to this and I want to explain. So I know diabetes well. My husband has type, di type 1 di diabetes. My goodness. My husband has type 1 diabetes and it's very near and dear my heart to help other people heal. Um, so type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition and it means that your pancreas is no longer um, creating insulin, right? It can no longer create insulin. So with type 1 diabetes, it's really important for two things. Number one, to get the inflammation out because any autoimmune condition, remember the root cause of that is inflammation. So we want to get the inflammation out but then also it's very important to know, number one, how much sugar or how many carbs rather you're eating, right? And number two, to eat as minimal sugar as possible so that you can, you require as little insulin as possible. So if you're watching this and you are type one, type two, or pre-diabetic, let me know so I can just try to get to know you guys as much as possible. I'll, 3,500 or however many people we have now, um, it's nice for me to try and get to know you as, as much as possible. So that is type 1 diabetes. We need to take the inflammation out, which is what this program is all about, right? Removing inflammation from the body so that your body can heal. And, and while the type 1 diabetes may not reverse, I have many type 1 um, diabetic clients that I've worked with one-on-one -on -one who have halved, half, gotten to use half of the normal insulin required for them before our work together, which is pretty cool. So, um, number one, we melt away the inflammation. Number two, we become aware of not only how much carbs, which you all know this if you're type 1 diabetic, how many carbs you're putting into your body, but we want to use as low carb as possible, right? So if you're going to use sugars, unrefined coconut sugar, raw agave, it needs to be raw, those are and are the two sugars that are lowest on the glycemic index and which will support you the best. Hi Susan, thanks for joining us. You're insulin resistant, okay? This is really good information for you. And if you, ideally, using monk fruit or stevia, which are natural sweeteners, not the tr artificial sweeteners, which cause loads of inflammation too. We're, we're not doing sugar-free with aspartame and Splenda. Those are super inflammatory and carcinogenic. But monk fruit and stevia, specifically liquid stevia, because it's less processed, those are amazing sugar-free options made from natural um, natural plants, okay? Even better because you're not getting the sugar. And so if you are playing with some of these recipes and they call for maple syrup or honey, you can begin to experiment with using um, monk fruit traditionally swaps out for the same amount. So if it calls for a cup of maple syrup, then with a monk fruit, I believe you can swap it out for a cup of monk fruit. Double check on that, or I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's that's accurate. Um, stevia is very, very potent, so you need a very small amount. Um, for example, if you're making a cup of coffee and you want to put some coconut creamer or coconut milk instead of creamer, or maybe you use normal cow dairy right now, but you want to sweeten it, if you'd normally put, I don't know, a tablespoon of sugar in your coffee, with the liquid stevia, it's these little droppers, and you would literally use like three to five teardrops in a cup of coffee, or whatever tastes good, but that's the difference of how potent the stevia is, okay? So again, really important, super important to melt the inflammation out, what we're doing, and then know the carbs, 
that you're intaking so that you can give yourself the right amount of insulin. And last is to use as low carbs as possible, as low sugar as possible, which means unrefined coconut sugar, raw agave, li uh, liquid stevia ideally, or monk fruit. When it comes to type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetic, or if you're insulin resistant, right, all of those are caused, again, due to inflammation. It is a chronic symptom or health condition that you're experiencing. Inflammation is at the root of those. Every single client that I've worked with who has had type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetic and has followed these steps, up to date has reversed their diabetes. That is what is so cool about type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetic. There is so much you can do to completely eliminate the symptoms, but it, it calls for alignment. It calls for integrity. Um, if you drink a bunch of water and you take out sugar half the time, you won't need as much insulin, so that's great, right? Or as much medication but it's not going to really reverse the symptoms. So you're gonna, every time I hop into a live, you guys are gonna hear me talk about the gap between knowledge and action. And my, my challenge to all of you is to do this five day challenge or to do it for two weeks and see how good you feel and how much of a difference it makes. So if you're type two diabetic, if you are pre-diabetic or insulin resistant, I, I recommend the exact same things for type 1 diabetes, meaning unrefined coconut sugar, raw agave, it needs to be raw. When agave is processed, it causes an inflammatory response. So raw agave, unrefined coconut sugar, stevia, or monk fruit, those are the best go-tos for you as well. And you guys, for me, cooking is all about an art. I'm not a super, like, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to the kitchen. So play around, like, be a little bit playful when you try on these recipes and try it with monk fruit or stevia or, or um, unrefined coconut sugar, raw agave. Susan says, I want to reverse it. Yeah, girl, you're going to do it, right? It's, and, and let's even move out of the mentality of I want to and instead tell ourselves we are reversing it. You are taking action steps beginning today to reverse this. You can do it. For all my type 2 pre-diabetics, if you're type 1, then you can significantly lower the amount of insulin needed, right? And all the side effects that go along with that. So you guys, you have the ability to, um, to, to create so much magic in your life to think about what it would be like to, to have more steady blood sugar levels when we talk about clean protein. I'm trying to remember if that's tomorrow or the next day. It's in the next couple days. Clean protein and getting that in and, and what like how much protein and when do we want to eat it, that is a key, key component that will support you in this process as well. So please make sure you're taking all the action steps. Um, I'm so excited that you guys are here. I'm really, really honored. Let me know if you have questions and I hope this video helps. Okay, have a great day.